The fun part of being a cinematographer is that you think that now I know everything and then you open a new door and you know nothing. So you just, you're learning all the time. Uh, you never get old. Uh, you have to stay kind of young in a way and I'm always been pragmatic in the way I'm shooting. So when I'm reading a new story, it's, it's how to, 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 to tell this story. Should it be shot on film? Should it be shot with a, a small camera, a big camera? I don't know. It's just the story tells me how to do this. So I'm trying to convince people, directors, producers with results. We are doing tests and we look at the test and we say, does it work? Yes. We don't care if it's Nari, if it's uh, Panasonic, if it's uh, red. It's, if it works, it works for the story. I followed Varicam for many years uh, and I knew the camera very well, uh, but I never used it on a feature film. Then I was working on a project called The King's Choice and I have, in that film we have a very important scene that happens at night. I saw some tests for this camera and I was blown away by the possibilities to shoot in low light. This was winning the whole thing very easily because I had a stop more, more than a stop with light. With this camera we put it on 5000 ISO and that's a big step. And the noise level on 5000 is less than what I've used on 1200 ESO on other cameras. The film we did it was quite special because it's, it's a film done in a dogma way. And that means we shot, uh, I had a lot of lights, so it's not dogma in that way, but it's dogma in the way that we followed actors for 10 minutes, in and out of houses, into cars, out of cars. So I needed cameras that was very lightweight and flexible on my shoulder. It was handheld. So my camera needed to be easy to use um, like a documentary camera. And I think this camera has the buttons where the buttons are supposed to be. And it also has the, the um, if it's a little bit of snow in the air or some water in the air, it doesn't break down. It's made for working outside. It, it's not a computer, it's a camera. And that's very important for me. Now, I, I think this camera has a lot of latitude and I think you can compare it to any cameras out there, it's a question of taste. I can't tell you about your taste, but that's sort of up to you. But, but, but uh, technically, I think it's, it's, it's a very good camera and um, it has uh, big potential.